under pressure in the third quarter. Mangalam is here to tell us what the brokerages are saying. Mangalam. But as far as Nika is concerned, you know, the revenue growth of the company was pretty much in line with what the street was anticipating. However, it was the composition of the revenue growth and its resultant impact on the margins that has the street and the brokerages worried. If you just take a look at what Goldman Sachs has said, they've said that they've been positively surprised by the acceleration in their fashion business, which grew at around 50-odd percent. But the BPC segment, beauty and personal care, which is the core of the business, grew just 26 percent, and that was a negative surprise. However, they have a neutral rating on the stock with a target of 200 rupees per share. Another company which has 200 rupees per share as the target on Nika is Jefferies, which has a buy rating and they say that you know the gross merchandise value growth was led by fashion and others on a low base other segment actually grew over 250 odd percent and uh, the BPC or beauty and personal care grew 25 percent largely due to a high base and shift in the festive season at the same time was impacted a little by the weak demand. Overall, the gross margins of the company were below expectations because of inferior mix, the discounting that the company had done, and because of weak demand environment, some down trading that took place by customers as well. As the company continues its investments in eB2B offline expansion and own labels, this is something that they will watch out for. And finally, we have Nuwama, the erstwhile Edelweiss, has cut the target price from 251 to 195 because of lower EBITDA expectations. So they've lowered their EBITDA expectations by about 8% for this year. But importantly, in their model, they've upped the cost of capital assumption as well, as a result of which the discounting factor has increased and that has led to a lower target price for them. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that. Some stocks which are moving around. So Adani Ports has recovered 4% from the day.